Hey, I'm Destiny. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And on my channel, we cover topics pertaining to entrepreneurship, business, and side hustles. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create professional email templates using Canva and also MailChimp. This video is very beginner friendly, so I'm going to be showing you in this step-by-step -step tutorial. So go ahead and stay tuned. So the first thing I like to do is pull up Google and search MailChimp. As you can see, it's the first option that comes up. And I'm also going to drop the link below for MailChimp as well. And once that finally gets loaded, so this is their home page. And one thing that's cool about MailChimp is that they do have a free version. And I'm going to go ahead and select the pricing so we can take a look to see how much it actually costs to be a MailChimp member. So as you can see, the free version is free up to 2,000 contacts, which sometimes it does take a while to reach that amount. And now I'm going to go ahead and get signed in. So I already have a username and password. And this is their homepage. And we're going to go ahead and go to create. And then we're going to go down to design email. Okay. Now we're going to add the two. So you can just select your audience. So it's mine is just the typical Destiny Adams. Add the personalized field to where it can say their first and last name. Then the subject for this one, since it's going to be about emails, I'm going to do, are you struggling to create emails? Well, actually, yeah, we'll do create emails. Because you want to make sure that it's something easy that will grab your audience's attention. And we're going to use a struggle point. And then in a preview text below it, I'm going to put, let me help you design your emails. Nice and simple. And we're going to select save. Now design email. So this is where it gets tricky. So they give you a bunch of different layouts that you can choose from. And for me, I always choose the follow up one since it says send a tailored email to people who have already engaged with you. So I'm going to go ahead and select that one. But once you're on that screen, you can play around with the different templates that they act that they show you. But for this one, I'm going to go ahead and show you on this one. So as you can see, it has a portion for the logo, then it has a title, then our main photo, then our content, shop now, and you can edit all of these. So I'm going to go ahead and do the logo. So the logo is something that I can actually pull up on Canva. So we're going to go to canva.com. So now that we have Canva pulled up, I'm going to actually type in an email banner. So that way we get that exact size. So let's see what comes up. Okay, so you see the email banner size. And these are the different ones that they have to offer. But for me, I like to keep it simple and just do my logo. So I'm just going to click one and delete all the contents that they have on there. And I'm doing it this way so I can make sure I can keep the same size. Okay, so to erase everything, you're going to go ahead and click on all the things that they have on there. And you're going to select delete. So that's what you see I'm doing with this one. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and go to my logo section. Select the logo that I want, which I always use my logo with the different icons. And then we're going to make this, we're going to stretch it to be as big as possible on this sheet. So that way on the MailChimp template, it fills up the complete space. And then once we have this all adjusted, we're going to go ahead and download it. And I am going to shorten the name so I know which exact one to choose when I go upload it to MailChimp. Uh, 
All right, now I'm going to go pull MailChimp up again, click the logo, and then go to replace. Then we're going to do upload. Choose the one, ooh, which I think was the that one. I'm going to try that one. Didn't quite save the title. Okay, and as you can see, it fills out. So another thing that you can do on here is you can select link. So that way when they click it, it's going to direct them to your website. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my website. Which if you don't know, that's imdestinyadams.com. Okay, so now I'm just readjusting the size to eliminate some of that white space on the computer screen. As you can see, some arrows on the right hand side. Or if you need to rewind the video to make sure you don't miss it. And then I'm going to drop this down below the picture. Because I like mine for you to see the logo and then see the content immediately. And then as you can see, there's another box there. We're going to go ahead and delete that. So that way we can eliminate some more space. And I'm just going to fill out the whole email to make sure we don't have any extra boxes like this one. We're going to delete that one as well. Okay, then there's another one to delete. And this is just to eliminate the big white spaces. So the next thing I'm going to do is start updating the email. So on mine, I typically have new videos up because these are the emails that I send out every week, every time I upload a new video. Okay, save and close. Now for this, I'm going to go ahead and go back over to Canva. And this is where we're going to actually design the content of the email. And this is for my email template video, the one that we're working on right now. So as you can see, I have a section already that says YouTube thumbnail. So we're going to click that. And this is just so all my thumbnails are the same. So I like this one since I'm holding the computer. So I'm going to go ahead and edit it. Mm, let's move it back to the side. And I do have a full video on how I do my YouTube thumbnails. And I'm going to go ahead and insert that right here. So that way you can follow along with that one. Otherwise, I'm going to speed this process up a little bit so we can get back to the MailChimp. Okay, so this is the final thumbnail that we created that we're going to use for our email template. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and download this so we can get it saved. And then I'm going to head back over to MailChimp and show you how I get it uploaded. Okay, so here we are. We're going to select the add photo here. And now we're going to go ahead and upload our photo that we just made. Well, actually, YouTube thumbnail that we just made, where we're going to go ahead and insert it there. As you can see it's uploading, and there it is. Now, usually I insert the links into this, like into this actual template, but since I don't have it yet, I'm going to skip past that part. I'm going to go straight to the section where I add the details for the email. And you can add whatever your email is about. You can add it in this section. So since mine is just a video about how to do a step-by-step -step email tutorial, so I'm just going to add that in here, put in a couple pain points that my audience is currently facing, and go from there.
Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and click the shop now, which I'm going to make mine watching out since it is going to my YouTube channel. Then for the web address, I'm just going to put my YouTube email address. Which is youtube.com backslash I am Destiny Adams. And then now we're going to go ahead and go to style. As you can see, the round the corners, which I typically like mine square. So I'm going to put zero. Then for the background, I always choose my brand colors, which is 008037 for that exact green. And you'll do the same for your brand color. So as you can see, it did switch to that green. Now we're going to play with the spacing. Oh, and that changes the spacing of the letters. So we're going to just switch it back to normal. There we go. Then you can also switch the font. And Times New Roman is a font that I typically use for my business. And then the padding is the size of that green box. So, of course, we're going to make that a lot bigger. I like the 10 size, but let's see how it looks with the 20. Hmm. I'll say back to the 10 we go. <laughs> Now we're going to head and save and close. Let's see from the new videos up. Let's see if we want to change anything about that. You can change the line spacing, which says ours is one line. It doesn't really matter. We're going to leave that the same. And now this one, I see that it has a weird, like a weird box behind it. But and typically what I'm going to do for this section is this is where I'm going to drop my new products. Well, not typically my new products, but I'm going to drop the products that I already have on my website. So it's going to say shop our products and then I'm going to erase what's below it. Which if you want to pr provide a description about your products, you can do that as well. But I typically don't. So now I'm going to make this just dark black. Well, jet black, however you want to say it. We're going to remove that square gray background that they had. And that's not quite as black, so we're going to go ahead and drag it all the way down. There we go. Now we're going to save and close. So now to get our products added, you're going to select the product, the thing with the shirt, and now you're going to click it and then you're going to drag it all the way down to where it says drop box here. So now you can start searching for your products. So I'm going to do my, the online business guy, which is how to start your business, how to start your online business, which is the business itinerary. So I'm going to drop that there. There it is. And then I'm also going to insert my travel ebook. I'm going to insert that product as well. Now, as you can see, both of them are right there. And then we're going to want to change those blue boxes. And I'm also going to eliminate just some of those lines in the business itinerary ebook one. So we're going to eliminate that and just put a roadmap to create your online business. Now we're going to go to style where we see that blue. We're going to make it our brand color, which is the green, the 008037. So I got to go back down and we're going to switch those, switch the rounded corners to make them square. Hold on while I catch up. Because you do want your emails to be tailored to your brand. 
brand or business. Okay, and there we have it. We're just going to update this real quick. To shop our best sellers. It's a little bit more catchy. And now what we're going to do is go ahead and preview this email so you can see exactly what it looks like. It's going to actually be in the preview screen. Just a moment. Preview mode. Okay, and this is how it's going to look when it goes to our customers. And I like to look at the mobile version because that's what most of my customers use. And another thing that I love about MailChimp is that you can actually either send your emails right away or you can schedule them to be sent out. So once you click, click the schedule link, it allows you to have different options. So we're going to go to select schedule. There you have it. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So thank you so much for watching this video today. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments, drop them in the comment section below. And as you know, these videos are pertaining to my Canva series. So if there's any other videos you want me to create, don't forget to drop them in the comment section below. And if you want to connect with me, I am on Facebook. I am on Instagram. I am on TikTok. And my username is at I am Destiny Adams across all platforms. So go ahead and follow me on all of them and stay connected with me. And yeah, go ahead and stay tuned for the next video.